Here's a really, really ridiculous one that you're trying to call me out on. Number three, you have body shamed our founder, director, CEO by using statements like making profits as size of his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple days ago, I made a video called Corporate Cringe International Edition, and it was with companies based in India. And we were just going through their videos that were publicly posted on LinkedIn and YouTube, and we were critiquing them. We were utilizing what's known as the Fair Use Act. I got an email this morning from the CEO of Flooper, and it looks like we hurt his feels a little bit. It looks like he was upset about it and he sent me this legal intimation to put down our copyright defamed video on YouTube. And I started reading it and I realized it's like, it's pretty empty, honestly. Not to mention that there's like a bunch of spelling errors and stuff that like makes this legal threat seem pretty flimsy. Look man, if you're watching the video, I didn't intend to hurt your feelings. The whole point of corporate cringe is to make sure employees are being treated right, being treated fairly and not forcing anyone to do anything at work that they don't really want to do. People can have opinions of you and it's not defamation, which is what you're claiming in this email. It gets good, stick through the whole thing. I mean, there's some pretty ridiculous ones in here. Like he said, I body shamed him for having a big forehead. So here's the email to Josh Fluke and Grindreel team. This is notify that you recently published a video. I took the video down. Okay, buddy, I didn't have to. Just keep in mind, I didn't have to, but if it hurts your feelings, I'll be the bigger man. Your YouTube video has violated several legal violations where, which are an act of legal consultation and subject to complaint stated in the following points. I mean, it's not, it doesn't start off like very intimidating, but your YouTube video title states corporate cringe and the statement as per the cringe, <laughs> I can't even read that. As per the cringe meaning is concerned to feel disgust or hurt directly or intentionally. Our legal copyrighted company, Flooper Limited Names, has been subjected to corporate cringe statement, which is a clear act of spreading hatred, negativity, disgust, and shame against our brand name, Flooper Limited. Your video states viewers to feel disgusted about brand Flooper Limited and indirectly hurt the overall brand reputation, which is subject to defamation as per YouTube policies, which forces us to file a defamation complaint against you and your brand grind real and YouTube channel. In fact, your name isn't even in the title next to corporate cringe. Not at all. Not like it says corporate cringe international edition. What causes cringe is subjective. Like for example, some people might think feeding you cake and smearing cake all over your face like you did in the video. I didn't go pull this from the hidden depths. I didn't secretly record this. You posted it. Your company posted it. I just don't think that you understand what defamation means. Defamation means an untrue statement of fact about someone to damage their reputation on purpose. Everything in the video that I made is my opinion. If I were to say, this person is an alcoholic, that's a statement of fact, right? But when I say, this is a garbage company, that is an opinion. That is, that is an opinion with a bunch of context as to how we got to that conclusion. In fact, here's some lawyers saying, of course, for defamation to have occurred, somebody must have made the statement that is considered defamatory. To be considered defamatory, the statement must concern a matter of fact, not simply an opinion. There's nothing defamatory about saying this company is garbage. I'm sure that you think some companies are garbage too, right? And you're completely allowed to say that. You're just not allowed to say, the CEO of this company has done X, Y, and Z illegal things. That's defamation. And I never said any of that stuff. Now let's look at number two. Your YouTube video has used our copyrighted items, such as number one, the logo, international copyrighted logo. So here's the thing. I do not need to request your permission to use a trademark if it's for editorial or informational use. Now, if I was using your trademarked logo, claiming to be a company, and making money by using that, then it'd be different. But I'm not saying, hey, I'm a company and I'm using your exact trademark. I'm saying, hey, this is a company and there is their trademark. I don't need to ask for your permission to do that. That's not how this works. I'm not pretending to be you. I'm not claiming your company or to be any company. Below that, you say clips of our copyrighted videos. This is known as the Fair Use Act. I'm not claiming your videos as my own and I critiqued them. I added to them, I edited them, I changed the music on them. I didn't just steal your videos 
as you say later that I copied and pasted, onto my channel. That's not what happened at all. Here's a really, really ridiculous one that you're trying to call me out on. Number three, you have body shamed our founder, director, CEO by using statements like making profits as size of his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. Imagine having an ego so big that you have to put your entire title in the bullet point. Our founder, director, CEO, lord and savior, the one true white knight that will save us all? Like, come on, bro. Personally, I thought that was a pretty good joke, man. Body shaming would have been like, you need to lay off the cake, you know, because you're getting fat but I didn't say that. Look, man, if you're self-conscious about balding, that's fine, bro, I'm balding too. All of us older men are balding, it's fine. It, what you need to do, this pro tip, is get yourself some Propecia. This is mine right here, it's called Propecia or Finasteride. It helps block that DHT and helps your hair grow back. You could also get some Minoxidil. Look, man, this is just bro talk to bro talk. I don't know, you must be pretty self-conscious about that receding hairline. Number four, he says, you have used several pictures of our team members, office work, office staff, and premises without legal approvals and acceptance by our media team. These were all pictures posted by your media team to your public accounts. So those images and pictures and videos were approved by your media team. So all I did was go to those accounts and showcase them on my account. I don't need your permission. If I was in the office taking pictures of people and getting videos of people, yeah, maybe that'd be different, right? But these are just videos of pictures already available. I'm allowed to use what's there. Number five, he says, you have cut and paste videos directly from our YouTube videos and copyrighted material. I don't think that you can copy and paste a video. Honestly, what we did was we went to your channels, we went to your LinkedIn, and we went to your YouTube page, and we looked at your YouTube page with the video in the player. I didn't even download your videos. Number six, you have used statements of saying Flooper is a shitty company, which is again, complete defamation statement hurting the company's reputation and brand value. Saying that something is a shitty company is not defamation. That is an opinion. What is a crappy company to someone might not be a crappy company to someone else. It's impossible to prove. That is a statement of opinion that is not defamation, but nice try. Number seven. You are making fun of our company's culture and values by stating Indian culture in India companies, which shows that you aren't just making fun or amusing statements on Flooper, you are making fun of Indian culture and celebration, which is against the intercultural and country's reputation violation, which we strong oppose and strictly oppose. So I was like, what is intercultural and country's reputation violation? So I Googled it, right? And there's nothing, that, that is not even a thing. That doesn't even exist. Look here, intercultural and country's reputation violation literally doesn't exist. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but also, the very beginning of the video, I say, look, this video, there's gonna be some cultural differences, and, uh, you know, we recognize that there's cultural differences. In fact, when all the cake and hand feeding was going on, I said, yo, is this normal? Can my Indian bros back me up here? After telling me everything that I did wrong in that video, he sent me a summary, and he said, we are opposing and challenging your statements on the basis of the following points. You have no right to use our name, logo, and copyrighted items without permission and authorization. Copyright infringement. That is not copyright infringement. Number two, he says, you have used our names and have monetized your video, which clearly shows your intention of making money by defaming our company and brand value. I didn't use a single individual's name that worked there. It doesn't show an intention to defame your company. Number three, he says, you have intentionally attacked our reputation and brand value by molding stories and statements and showing the company to be shitty and embarrassing or disgusting. Required to use the fair use, you have to edit the content enough so that it's fair use, which is what I did. I didn't show anything that was disgusting. Everything that's on there, you posted. Not me. Number four, he says, you have 260K followers trying to defame company and spread hatred and negativity against the brand value by forcing your followers and connection who have no connection, problems or relations with our brand flooper, which can cause serious harassment to our employees, founder and brand value, which can severely cause business value harm. That's a bold statement saying, 260,000 followers are trying to defame your company. The video didn't even get 260,000 views. Negativity against the brand value by forcing your followers and connections who have no connection, problems or relations. I didn't force my followers to do anything. Absolutely not. It's impossible for me to, to force my followers to do something. Obviously, my followers should never go and harass people. They should never go and give these people a hard time. I'm definitely against that, but 
I didn't force anyone to do anything. Five, this is the part where he actually defames me. This is a statement of fact. All of mine were statements of opinion. He says, you have no idea and experience about Indian culture. That, my friend, is incorrect. At my last job, the CTO of the company was from India. My two coworkers that I worked with every single day were from India. We sat side by side and talked about Indian culture, Indian food, Indian celebration, everything that goes on in India. I was so close with my CTO that he kept trying to show me his kid's coming of age ceremony, which if I remember correctly, is called the, the Ritu Kala Samskara, or something like that, right? You're gonna say I have no idea about Indian culture? Get the fuck out of here. That is defamatory. See, you've actually committed the illegal thing here, but you know what, man? You know what, man? I I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sue you. I'm not gonna press any legal charges, you know, because it doesn't matter if you hurt my feelings. Sticks and stones may break my bones. Come on, man, grow up a little bit. You're already older than me. Grow up a little bit. And when I say grow up a little bit, I don't mean that hairline. So let's start over on that sentence. He says, you have no idea and experience about Indian culture, celebrations, nature of business, and you aren't doing any business relations with our team and company, which shows that you have intentionally been forced to make the video on us by any competitor of ours. Now, what does that sentence even mean? I have been forced I've intentionally been forced to make the video by any competitor of yours. You defamed yourself. You're the one that has the company that posted the videos. You're the one that was eating cake from your employees' hands. You're the one that had your sister rub cake all over your face. You're the one that made your office look like Chuck E. Cheese. You are completely responsible for the videos that you post and how people interpret them is not my fault. Everyone has an opinion and it's not illegal to have an opinion. He signs off with this statement. He says, we wanna state here, we strictly oppose and recommend you to put this video down and finish any relation or connection with our team or staff here at Flooper. We would be expecting immediate takedown and no further allegations to be made on us to avoid any legal proceedings and complaints. That's right, that's not compli compliances is what he meant, but it says complaints. Immediate reply would be demanded. Regards, media relations. Bro, I know that you're the one who sent it because it says your name at the top of the email. As an Indian, this was cringy. The part where the CEO is getting fed cake and having it smeared all over is usually reserved for parties or any social festivities. Usually family and friends do this sort of thing as a way to show love in a playful manner. This is unacceptable in a work environment as this could lead to HR violations and possible termination. Beating cake to your friends and your family at a celebration for them where you can kind of get away with that and there's no HR violations. Yeah, that's totally normal. We, we do that here in the US when people get married, like they feed each other cake, it's, it's fine. But your boss at work, your fingers in your boss's mouth, smearing cake on the face, that's a little weird and that's not defamatory, that's an opinion. Discarded Potato Chip says, Indian here, these companies are cringy AF. The cake feeding thing is common when it's your birthday in a social setting, but it's inappropriate at work. Here's another thing from Sonata. The part where you've mentioned regarding cake feeding to employees is truly work inappropriate, but is followed by the masses. I hate it. Here's another one. As an Indian, I can assure that this is the cringiest work culture I've ever seen. Stop getting your feelings hurt, man. Get off your high horse and stop threatening people that question your authority. Just because your employees think that you're God and treat you like one doesn't mean I have to. In fact, while you're at it, why don't you just go ahead and change your name from Flooper to Flop? 